Welcome to Tech Talk Show. According to All India Survey of Higher Education 2018-19, conducted by MHRD, 65 lakh students graduate every year, and out of them, about 8 lakh students are graduate engineers. With the GDP and key economic indicators yet to pick up steam, 2020 is expected to stay flat in terms of employment, or at best, have a marginal growth. Why did I mention these two facts? Just to show that the rate of emerging graduates is increasing daily, making the labor market very competitive. Large numbers of applicants hustle for very limited job openings. Congratulations if you have received a call or an email for a face-to-face -face interview because according to experts, 98% of job seekers are eliminated at the initial resume screening. And only the top 2% of candidates make it to the interview. But it is only the tip of the iceberg. Out of these 2% candidates, only a handful are able to crack interview. The question here is, why only a handful of people are able to crack interview? According to another survey, almost 60% of recruiters feel that only some job seekers or no job seekers meet the required skills. So what are these skills? There are some particular traits that recruiters look for in the job seekers. These qualities are universal and make you a hot commodity regardless of industry or pay grade. Apart from domain expertise, organizations prefer to hire candidates with better communication skills and those ready to learn and adapt to changing business environment. In this episode of Tech Talk Show, we will learn a lot of things about interview and recruitment process along with some tips and tricks to crack interview. Today with us, we have Mr. Komal Mehrutra, Head of the Humanities and Social Sciences Department, KIT Group of Institutions. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Screening in itself is a long process. Once job seekers pull themselves through this screening process, they find that it is just the tail of a tiger that they have caught. They are not aware about the recruitment process and types of interviews. I think knowing all types of interviews would surely help the candidates. Therefore, my question here is, how many types of interviews are there? Before moving on to the types of interviews, I think it is better that everyone understands the recruitment process. Right. So what candidates have to go through? They first have to submit one particular resume. When they submit that particular resume, then what happens? There, if we uh, see sites like Forbes.com, Businessballs.com, they have released a particular list of words which have not to be used on the CV. If the candidate is using those words on the CV, then that particular resume is just being screened by a software and it is going into the paper shredder. It is not even going into the human hand for verification. That is the level of automation that has happened as far as recruitment is concerned. Now, coming to the next step and that is the online test. Major majority of the companies have started giving a an online test. So, the test comprises of aptitude testing. Plus, there can be email writing, paragraph writing, picture perceptions, as well as as well as technical coding questions. Then, after this, after qualifying this written exam, what happens? If it is an on-campus drive and lots of candidates get selected in the written exam, then a group discussion round is further scheduled. Then the interview process starts after the students have been eliminated from the written test and the group discussion round. So, congratulations again if you have reached the interview round. Right. Now, interviews. There are various types of interviews. We have got telephonic interviews, we have got video conferencing interviews and a variety of interviews under the face-to-face -face category. Okay. 
right so let's let's take up one by one all of these types of interviews telephonic interviews for example telephonic interviews what do we have to keep in mind we need to dress formally for the telephonic interview as well it means for telephonic interview when the another person is look, not looking to us then also we should wear up in a formal dress definitely why because it is a formal situation in which you are answering formally okay. to another person you will not get that feel really cheerfulness of voice extremely es- essential if you do not have energy in your voice because only your voice is conveying your yes. message mm-hmm. right so cheerfulness in your voice is extremely important right another aspect please keep your a copy of your resume near you because if a question is asked based on your resume mm. and you don't remember a particular point that copy of your resume will definitely help you right please keep a glass of water as well along with along with the resume because you can feel nervous or your throat may go dry at a particular question which makes you nervous and of course you need a quiet place if you are going to give a telephonic interview in a mall mm-hmm. of course not, no one will hear it mm-hmm. right because there will be so much noise mm-hmm. around it then we move to the video conferencing interview now if we talk about the video conferencing interview the major mistake that students tend to make is that they tend to look at the monitor rather than at the camera Yes yes so losing eye contact with the person who is interviewing you mm. that in itself is a very very bad gives a very bad impact during that particular interview that's really a good tip whenever we are doing the video conferencing the interview we should always keep our eye in the camera yes, yes. towards the camera not towards the monitor yes right and of course the same tips which apply to a telephonic interview a clean quiet room right you should be formally dressed and of course keeping a copy of your resume along with you and a glass of water along with you yes one more thing pen and paper because they can ask you to solve a puzzle or maybe an aptitude question during the interview itself so please be ready for that as well yes, right it's again good so time. video conferencing interview comprises of this now we come to the various types of face to face interviews so starting with one on one the most comfortable situation one person talking to another po- mm-hmm. person is perhaps the most comfortable situation that you can get as far as a formal interview goes so one to one yes now it totally depends at what level you are giving that particular interview mm-hmm. for example if you are a fresher and it is a one to one interview it can start off with maybe being a technical interview mm-hmm. maybe being a managerial interview or maybe being a hr interview a human resource interview it means uh, whenever a candidate is going for the face to face interview so he first must know for which type of the interview he is going for Definitely. either it is a technical or hr so accordingly they should prepare their questions and answers right so continuing with this one on one interview we'll uh, discuss the three types of oh, the technical interview first because we are in a technical institution guide group of institutions so we'll talk about that first and uh, what should the candidate keep in mind whatever he has written on the cv mm-hmm. if he has mentioned any certification course if he or she has mentioned any uh, particular uh summer training project internship that is the first thing that the candidate needs to be clear about mm-hmm. because most of the questions asked by the technical interview would revolve around this only whatever the project and the additional yes. certification a student has yes. so accordingly okay and of course uh, the area of interest that you have mentioned on your cv right so that is about the technical interview mm-hmm. so please don't mention anything that you are not clearly aware of and you are not sure that you will be able to answer 7 to 8 questions out of 10 uh, or given questions uh, there is a one very common question whenever any candidate go for the face to face interview that is tell me something about yourself so how a student should prepare i'll come to that in the okay. hr interview part yes right so first uh, 
we have taken up the technical interview mm-hmm. now coming to the managerial interview okay. so what's a managerial interview mm-hmm. managerial interview is about handling situations okay. the company representative the interviewer will give you different situations which are which may be chronic mm-hmm. may have already been solved or they may not have a solution to it and they put up a, a situation it may be hypothetical as well mm-hmm. but it can be a real situation as well which is prevalent in the company so what happens is that they expect you to answer that particular question by giving a positive outlook about that problem you may not be able to give a 100% accurate answer but if you have a positive outlook about that situation that is what they want to know right now now coming to your question tell me something about yourself yeah it's a very common question it's it and it of course is one of the most confusing questions yes, as well yes. because everyone does not know what to put in it and what to leave Definitely. right the best tip that i can give to pe- to freshers especially is that make it creative what normally what is the normal trend because in my approximately 25 years of uh, working experience and uh, making five different career changes in mm. these 25 years uh, i have come to see uh, come to notice that most of the freshers g- start their introduction by my name is so and so i am pursuing this particular course with this much percentage i did my 10th from here 12th from and here they also and get a detail of their family members and yes and their, their hobbies etc yes, yes. right but do you think repeating the same information that is already given on your cv mm-hmm. is going to make it interesting no not at all mm-hmm. not at all so what is how to, how to make it creative talk about your professional as well as personal qualities right link maybe linking them uh, to your parents mm-hmm. maybe you have uh, got uh, your hard working abilities from your mother Mm-hmm. because you never saw her sleep before you mm-hmm. and never saw her sleeping after you got up in the morning mm-hmm. so maybe you have uh, got that hard working capability from your mother right so describe that mm-hmm. that will make it interesting maybe your place of birth for example if i talk about myself i what i do is that because i was born in prayagraj i say that i have got a spiritual bent of mind right so making it creative is what is going to make it interesting to the other person yeah, previous one is that the traditional answers uh, every student prepared yes. but this is a good tip ki we always make our introduction creative and interesting yes definitely now moving to on to the other types of interviews we can have a group interview situation mm-hmm. wherein there can be only one interviewer but he or she may call in four to five candidates in one go mm-hmm. and ask the same set of questions to all mm-hmm. or maybe different questions to all it becomes very difficult if the same questions are asked to every four or five candidate why because they have to search out new things to say mm. but if the candidate if the interviewer is uh, asking different questions then it can it is more of just a time saving strategy for the interviewer it means ki chances so, of losing the confidence yes. is very high when you are in a group, group interview. interview situation okay then then uh, moving on to the next category and that is panel interviews now anyone who has ever prepared for any particular competitive exam and then reach the interview stage uh, and if anyone has already appeared for maybe the ssb mm-hmm. uh, thing what happens is that if you go to the final day you find that 13 people are sitting there in the table on the, around the table mm-hmm. and there are 13 interviewers taking your interview one candidate 13 interviewers i mean it's a Just threatening situation for it, the candidate it is it is an extreme situation it's extreme situation <laughs> right a similar thing happens in the upsc interview mm-hmm. exams interview uh, panels five to six interviewers sitting together taking your interview mm-hmm. right so the major thing that the candidate over here needs to keep in mind is that you may look 
50 to 60 percent of the time to at that person who has asked you the question but rest of the 40 to 50 percent of the time you should be maintaining eye contact with the others as well yes. because if you lose eye contact or maintain 100 percent eye contact only with the person who has asked you the interview question then the others are free to note everything about you your body language mm -hmm. your facial expressions mm -hmm. are you uh, cheerful or have you become nervous everything becomes clear to them right so it is always better to maintain eye contact with the panel more than 8 to 10 people are keeping eye only on you okay. yes yeah. uh, another thing there can be a rapid fire round mm. the panelists may start shooting rapidly questions at you the only thing that you need to remember over here is that you need to remember the order of questions asked. If panelist number 5 has asked you the second question, mm -hmm. so you need to remember that, that whichever answer you are giving presently, after this you have to answer this one only. Panelist number 4 has asked you the fifth question, mm -hmm. so you need to remember that order in which the questions have been asked. So have that presence of mind over there. Remember the order of questions asked and re reply accordingly, right? Then uh, if we talk about more types of interviews, we have got case-based case based interviews and we have got behavioral interviews. So is it the same with the previous one or they are some... Uh, they are face-to-face. -face. They are okay, also a category, category of face-to-face -face interviews. Okay. Case-based interviews... They can, uh, the interview interviewers can give you a particular one page or maybe a 20 page case to analyze okay. and you have to uh, analyze it then and there and give, give them the answers asked at the end of the case or they can cook up a hypothetical situation and ask you to answer that, right? So, uh, as far as behavioral interviews go, Behavioral interviews can be uh, can be handled by using an approach called STAR approach. Situation. S for situation. What is the situation that has been put forward, that has been asked to you? Mm -hmm. What task is needed to, done, needed to be done to uh, help solve that situation? By the, plan, by the proper planning of that task, and then the uh, uh, action which follows it. Okay. S-T-A. We have yes. come to the action. Now, action. Is it according to the plan, the task that you planned? And is it giving the final result which is expected? So, situation, yes. task, action, action and action. result. That is the approach that we apply for a behavioral interview. Mm -hmm. Because why do they and why do they take behavioral in interviews? That your past behavior is an indicator of your future behavior. Mm -hmm. That is why uh, some behavioral interview questions are always put in in any interview. It means here is a tip for a candidate ki that uh, apart from your technical uh, and the other things, behavior will again play a very crucial role Definitely. in selection for, ex process. for example, I will give you an example mm -hmm. that uh, what is the most challenging situation that you have faced till now? Mm -hmm. This question asked to a fresher, uh, what, what happens? Normally, students will tend to link their challenging uh, thing with academics. Or examinations. Or examinations, right? But academics and examination is a normal part and parcel of a student life. How is it a challenge? It should be something which should be out of your personal life. It should be something, uh, maybe a grave illness in the family that you have over overcome. Right? Anything which is not related to academics and examinations. Because academics and examinations are a normal part and parcel of a student's life. Definitely. So, it is not expected out of it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, that is how we, uh, these are the various types of interviews that we uh, face. We'll continue with our guest, Mr. Komal. So, stay tuned.